In this video, I'm gonna share with you my new visitor follow-up system for churches. Not only will this system easily capture new information from visitors, but it also contains a follow-up sequence with pre-written email copy included that you can use. Well, hey there, my name is Brady Shearer. I'm the CEO of Pro Church Tools, and hey, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Here's the deal. Getting new visitors at your church is not an easy process, and it definitely shouldn't be taken lightly. When a new visitor or family does visit your church, you usually only have one shot to capture their information. And here's the kicker. If you don't capture that new family or new visitor's information, it's very possible that they leave your church never to be heard from again. And this is why Connect cards at church have been such a staple for so long. You know these? The connect card, these little guys. We ask visitors to fill out these little cards when they attend our churches so that we can follow up with them so that we have their information and so that they're in our database. And this is a smart thing to do. Of course, parting with your personal information is a big request to make of someone. Essentially, you're asking a new visitor to give you something that is very personal just because you asked and within the first hour of being introduced to one another. Again, this is a big request and it's very easy for new visitors to simply ignore it. As it turns out, many churches have compensated for this by offering a free gift to visitors who do fill out their connect cards. Think of it as an incentive, or if you prefer, think of it as a more fair trade. You're asking for a new visitor to part with their personal information and give it to your church. But what is this new visitor getting in return? Well, nothing, that doesn't seem like a fair trade-off, but by offering them a gift in return, now you're offering them something of value in exchange for the value you're already receiving from them. And this type of thing happens all the time. Uh, maybe you join the mailing list of a company online and in exchange, you receive a 15% discount off of your first order with them. And you know what, even sports teams do this. Every season, sports franchises will host games where the first several thousand fans receive a free bobblehead or figurine. Looking into the eyes of an all-star, DeMar DeRozan. You, the fan, get a free figurine or bobblehead, and the sports franchise sees a boost in their attendance for that game, along with a bulk of the fans arriving extra early to the game to get in line to make sure they get that figurine before they're all gone. And what this does is it translates, that early attendance translates to more concession sales and a boost in revenue for the team. But that's just part of the story, because the big question that still remains is, Okay, what is the best gift that your church can give to new visitors? What's the best option? Well, for years now, I've been disenchanted with the majority of gifts that churches offer to new visitors. Common examples include church merchandise, like a branded hat or mug, downloadable music from the church worship band, or maybe a more tangible gift, like coffee beans or a gift card. Now, before we go any further, don't get me wrong, None of these options are bad per se, I just think that there's a superior option that churches are missing out on. An option that won't simply increase the number of connect cards your church collects on a weekly basis, but also supports a more holistic approach to following up with new visitors once that initial connect card has been returned. To make a point, too often churches view new visitor information in a vacuum. We work extra hard to collect a visitor's name, email, and phone number, but then we don't have a system set up to actually follow up with them after after they leave our service. And this is an oversight and one that the new visitor freebie follow-up system aims to solve. Now, here's the bottom line. Aside from collecting as many new visitor cards as your church possibly can, there are three specific goals that your visitor gift and follow-up sequence should aim to achieve. Those goals are as follows. Goal number one, your new visitor gift and follow-up sequence should make a great first impression. Goal number two, it should be triggered as fast as possible and goal number three, it should put your new visitor in touch personally with your church's pastor or someone on your staff. These are the three main goals of a great new visitor gift and follow-up sequence. You wanna make a great first impression on your new visitor. You want the follow-up to begin immediately while it's still fresh in their mind. And you want to make a personal connection between your new visitor and a real person in leadership at your church. Now, you're probably wondering, what's the actual free gift we're gonna give away to new people at our church? Well, let's get to that now. Simply put, rather than giving your new visitor a mug with your church's logo on it or a gift card to Starbucks, I recommend instead to pledge a $5 donation to a charity on behalf of your new visitor and, and this next part is key, allow your new visitor to choose the charity. In my experience, this type of new visitor gift does a great job of achieving goal number one in our series of three goals. It makes a wonderful first impression. 
And here's why. By pledging a $5 donation to a charity on your new visitor's behalf, it demonstrates that you are a generous church that's outwardly focused on the world and community, not just inwardly focused on your own self-interests. I mean, sure, a branded hat or mug with your church's logo on it is cool, but that's still all about you. And if you as a church truly care about branding, you'll understand that branding isn't your church's logo, font, and colors. Branding is what people say and think about you as a church. Here's the bottom line. When you demonstrate to a new visitor that you are a generous church in your first interaction, not only does it make a great first impression, but it will earn your church more brand clout than any item of merchandise with a logo plastered on it ever could. It gets better though, because another reason why I love the $5 donation pledge to a charity of the visitor's choice is that it invites your potential new visitor into the act of giving and allows them to make a choice of which charity they want to support. And this is key. Don't simply choose a single charity pre-selected ahead of time. Instead, choose, let's say, five that your church is a big fan of and wants to support, and then allow your visitor to choose from that list of five pre-approved registered charities. This sets the precedent from the outset with your new visitor, the you are partners. You invite them into the act of giving to be an active participant, because this is what we want in our churches, right? Active participants that are involved and not passive spectators that just sit in pews. And one way to foster this sort of healthy culture is to set that expectation from the beginning with every new visitor by inviting them into the act of giving during your first interaction. And as a side note, if you're looking for actual examples of this in pre-written copy, Stay tuned because that's coming a bit later in this video. And we don't stop there because now that we have the free gift that we're gonna offer to new visitors that attend our church, we need to talk about the Connect card that we're gonna receive from our new visitors. Most importantly, we recommend prioritizing a digital Connect card at your church. And this doesn't mean you need to get rid of your physical church connection card. In fact, I wouldn't recommend that. Still keep that available, but prioritize and highlight the digital connection card first and foremost. Now, you might be wondering, how can I create a digital connect card to begin with? Well, the best way I know is by using a tool called Nucleus. Nucleus is a new kind of church website builder that we built, and the sole purpose of Nucleus is to capture next steps. Because we believe that next steps is what leads to life change in our churches. The very first next step most people will ever take Take at your church is filling out a connect card. That's the first point of contact. And to make this as easy as possible, Nucleus actually has a single click template for church connection cards built in that will allow you to create a digital connection card with literally one click. You don't need any web experience or expertise to use Nucleus. In fact, it was designed with church staff and volunteers in mind. It's that easy to use. Of course, you can use any website you want here, but if you head to nucleus.church, you can get a 30-day free trial of Nucleus with no credit card required to see if it might be a good fit for you. Head to www.nucleus.church and you can sign up for free. Now, I can feel a little bit of pushback and reservation when it comes to this idea of a digital connection card. So if you're thinking to yourself, Brady, why do we need a digital connection card? Our physical card works fine. I hear you. And again, I'm not suggesting you eliminate the physical card. Keep it around for those that will prefer it. But do you remember the second goal in our series of three goals for our new visitor gift and follow-up system? Goal number two was all about speed. You want to trigger your follow-up sequence with a new visitor as fast as you possibly can while it's still fresh in their mind. And a digital connect card allows you to do this incredibly easily. Here's how it works in three simple steps. Step number one, use an in-service announcement to acknowledge new visitors and invite them to fill out your Connect card online to pledge a $5 donation to a charity of their choice. In this example, the website we're using is hopechurch.xyz. Step number two, hook up your digital Connect card form to an email automation system like MailChimp. MailChimp is free and it directly integrates with Nucleus, making this process incredibly easy, even for those who aren't technologically inclined. Step number three, send a follow-up email within seconds after a new visitor fills out your digital connect card, prompting them to choose their charity from your list of pre-approved options within the email. And by following this simple three-step process, you'll be able to speed up your new visitor gift and follow-up sequence faster than most churches have ever dreamed of. Because for most churches, the follow-up process begins on Monday at the earliest, but often even later in the week. And usually at that point, church is the farthest thing from a new visitor's mind. The daily stresses of life and the week have kicked in and they're that much less likely to respond to any follow-up your church is trying to initiate. What your church wants to do is capitalize on the attention you have with this new visitor or family on Sunday, preferably while they're still in service. Begin that follow-up process immediately while they're still focused 
on your church. As a side note, this follow-up sequence can still work with physical cards. It just requires a bit more administrative work and data entry from a volunteer or staff member. And again, this is why we prioritize and prefer the digital connect card. Not only is the follow-up with new visitors faster, but it's also less work for you and your staff. With that being said, if a new visitor does fill out the physical connect card and returns it to the lobby, that's fine too. Just make sure that the volunteer or staff person who's collecting all of these cards manually adds them to the new visitor email automation list List before they leave on a Sunday. Now, that way the email follow-up is still triggered and you can reap all of the benefits of the new visitor freebie follow-up even if a new person uses the physical connect card rather than the digital one. Now, to make this even easier, I actually wanna give you pre-written copy that you can use for the first email that you send to new visitors, along with the actual in-service announcement that you share from stage asking new visitors to fill out your Connect card. Let's start with the in-service announcement. Here's what I recommend that you say. Feel free to copy this script word for word and use it. Here it is. If you're new with us at church today, I especially want to welcome you to Hope Church. We're so glad you're here. To celebrate, we'd love to pledge a $5 donation on your behalf to a charity of your choice. And this is something we do every week here at Hope, and it's a really simple process. Simply head to hopechurch.xyz and click on the I'm New card. From there, fill out the form, and we'll send you an email asking which charity you wish us to donate to. And that's it. So again, take out your phone. You can do this in service right now. Head to hopechurch.xyz. Fill out the I'm new form and we'll pledge that $5 donation before you leave church today. And there you have it. That's the announcement script I like to use. A couple of things to note with this script. I make sure to mention our website name twice to make it more memorable. I'd also recommend putting up a slide on your screen with the URL on it as well so it's impossible for new visitors to miss it. Another thing I do is I set precise expectations for what I'm asking new visitors to do and what's gonna happen if and when they do it. And by fully explaining this process, I'm removing any uncertainty and thus making it easier for a new visitor to take their next step. Finally, I explicitly say to take out your phone right now and do this because again, speed is our friend in this process. I don't want new visitors to think they have to wait to do this. No, 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 take your phone out right now. Fill out the form and we'll pledge that donation before you even leave church today. All of my words in this script are implying that this is a process to complete before this new visitor or family leaves church. So that's the exact word for word announcement script I'd use. What about that first email? Well, here's an exact word for word script for that as well. Hey, first name, this is Brady from Hope Church. Thanks for filling out our I'm New form. Here's what you need to know about Hope Church. We love generosity, and we think one of the best ways to live like Jesus is to give. Knowing this, we'd love to make a $5 donation on your behalf to a charity of your choice. Simply reply to this email with your choice from the list of pre-registered charities below, and we'll make a donation on your behalf. Charity Water, Prevent Child Abuse America, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and Boys and Girls Clubs of America, Talk soon, Brady Shearer, pastor of Hope Church. P.S. If you have any questions at all for me, first name, don't hesitate to ask. When you reply to this email, be it, it's gonna be sent directly to me and I'll make sure to respond as soon as I can. Okay, let's talk about this email copy a bit. It's in this first email that we present our list of pre-approved charity options that our new visitor can choose from. I used four examples, feel free to use five and feel free to replace those with whichever registered charities your church is a fan of. Also note that I have this email set up to come from the church's pastor. Do you remember the third goal of our new visitor gift and follow-up sequence? Goal number three was to put your new visitor in touch personally with your church's pastor or a leader on your staff. And this is super important to begin this process of a real relationship between your church and a new visitor or family. By doing this, you'll initiate a personal relationship with a real person on your staff. Now, your new visitor isn't just a silent spectator sitting in a pew, but they're being personally welcomed by your pastor. Another thing to note about this email is the PS segment at the end. PS segments and emails are frequently the most read portions of the entire email. Email, and so I dedicate this portion to inviting questions from a new visitor. Again, this is just another personal touch and a way to fast track a real relationship between your church and a new visitor. The final point to make about this email, and this is just another amazing benefit from this entire follow-up sequence, is that by inviting your new visitor into the act of giving, where they actually need to choose which charity they want to give to, rather than you automatically giving it to a pre-selected charity every single time, 
Well, by doing this, your new visitor is required to reply to your welcome email with their charity of choice. And when this takes place, your church's sending email is gonna be marked as a safe sender in this new visitor's email inbox. And this will help contribute to a better overall email deliverability profile for your church as well. And the next time you send an email to this new visitor, because they responded to the first email you sent, you're not gonna end up in the spam folder or even the promotions folder because of that first real reply that you received. So let's do a quick summary and bring this all together. Your new visitor gift and follow-up sequence has three goals it should aim to accomplish. Goal number one, it should make a great first impression. Goal number two, it should be triggered as fast as possible. And goal number three, it should put your new visitor in touch personally with your church's pastor or leader on staff. Here's the process we recommend. Step one, create an online connect form to use as your church's main connection card. By using Nucleus to do this, you can create a digital connect card with just a single click using the pre-made Nucleus single click template. To see if Nucleus might be a good fit for you, head to www.nucleus.church and you can sign up for free. Step number two, using a free tool like MailChimp, write a follow-up email that will automatically be sent to new visitors that fill out your digital connect card. Nucleus has an integration with MailChimp built in directly to make this even easier and make sure to use the pre-written email copy shared earlier in this video. And again, the point of this email is to present your new visitor with a list of pre-approved charities to choose from. And when they reply to this email with their choice of charity, you'll pledge a $5 donation to that charity on behalf of your new visitor. Step number three, use the pre-written announcement script shared earlier in this video to promote your digital connection card each week. When executed properly, the benefits of the new visitor freebie follow-up system are enormous. Here are just a few of them. You'll demonstrate to new visitors that you are a generous church that's outwardly focused on the world and your community, not just inwardly focused on your own self-interests. You'll be marked as a safe sender in this new visitor's email inbox when they reply to the initial email that you send, and this will help contribute to a better overall email deliverability profile for your church and ensure that all future emails sent to this new visitor don't end up in the spam folder. You'll make an amazing first impression on new visitors and foster a church brand that's built on a strong foundation of generosity and Christ-centered principles, not just a cool logo on a mug. You'll be able to follow up with new visitors immediately, capitalizing on the attention your church has with them rather than waiting later into the week when that attention has likely been lost. And you'll minimize the data entry and administrative requirements of your staff each week because it's all happening automatically with your digital connect card sequence. And you'll connect your new visitor to your church's pastor or leader in your church in a real way and create a space where they can ask any questions that they may have. Did you learn something cool in this video? If so, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Also, make sure to click the link in the YouTube description for this video to visit the full post where you'll find a complete walkthrough on setting up your digital connect card within Nucleus and a walkthrough on setting up the follow-up email sequence within MailChimp, along with all the pre-written scripts that you can copy and paste as needed. Now, I'm gonna turn things over to you. Which part of this new visitor follow-up sequence is most exciting to you? Let me know by leaving your answer in the comments on this YouTube video.